Grignard reaction. At the beginning of the lab, you place a tube with a stir bar in the oven. Now that it's in there for 15 minutes or more, you can take it out. It should be dry. Wear gloves, otherwise you burn yourself. So you take the reaction tube out and immediately close it with a septum. Screw the septum in there. And now you let it cool down to room temperature because if you would have it open while it cools down, the humidity from the air would condense into the tube and all the drying would be for nothing. For the reaction, you need magnesia and you want to make sure that the surface is a little broken because it has magnesium oxide on the surface. You will not be able to break the pieces apart, but now you see it's more shiny, so the magnesium oxide is a little bit removed. Take the amount you have to take, weigh it with a weighing boat, and put it in your reaction tube, which is now room temperature. Try to use the smaller pieces of the magnesia so that you have a bigger surface area. Place the magnesia into the reaction tube by removing the septum and putting the magnesia in there. And as soon as you have that, close it again. Next, you want to have one crystal of iodine in the reaction tube as well and close it. So now it's time to close the septum tight. You squeeze both sides of the septum to one side, hold the lower part with the sump and squeeze the other part around this tube. So now it's really tight. Now next you have to add the ether and because now you're adding volume into it and it's a closed system, you need a pressure relief system which is a needle. And here you see this circle here, that's where the septum is smaller. That's where you push the needle through and you have to hold the septum on the side otherwise it will flip through. So now this is the pressure relief needle and now you have to add the ether into the reaction tube through the septum also pushing through the septum so now you see two needles in here and I add the ether and you see the color that's from the iodine now you're taking the bromobenzene the amount you need into a syringe and also take the ether which is stored in the dried vial and mix both in the syringe by having a little air in here and flip the syringe. So this is now the bromobenzene solution in ether and that's what you have to add to the magnesium in ether with the iodine. When you squeeze the needle through the septum you have to hold the septum on the side. So now you add this solution and you have to watch for the reaction. When it starts you, you would see some bubbles. If it doesn't start after a couple minutes you have to heat it up. If the color goes away it gets cloudy and you see bubbles on the magnesia. The Grignard has started. Now make sure that it continues to react. Let the reaction stir while adding the leftover solution of the bromobenzene in ether. So make sure that the reaction doesn't stop, but also that it isn't so intense. At the end of the reaction, all magnesia should be dissolved.